Quotidian Tearjerker, Part 2 She missed two periods in a row. She knew something wasn't right. Buying a pregnancy test and confirming its results with a trip to the clinic. She was in fact pregnant, three months in. She told her parents who cursed her. Her father slapped her across the face. Not my daughter, not my daughter. Get the fuck out of my house. She's only 16. She grabbed her things and then ran out the door, not ever wanting to look back. She only has six months. Time is catching up to her. She knows she needs a place to stay. There was one guy, a friend from the past, who would help her out. He's been in love with her for years. With tears in her eyes, she knocks on his door. He opens it to see her saddened face. He then opens his arms and welcomes her. He is 19. They met in drama class his junior year. He is well off and very giving. Of course she can stay here. She explained it all, about the baby, her parents, and he was the first to know about the rape. He once knew the guy who did it and knew he was a fucking snake. She felt bad to use this guy for his generosity, but what else could she do? He too was lonely and needed someone, and one plus one equals two. She kept her job at the paint store to help pay her share, saving as much as she could to start her life anew. He would come home from work and hear her crying and throwing up in the bathroom, holding flowers and a teddy bear. Months passed and they grew closer, becoming the best of friends. Then on June 12th, her water broke and they were never the same again. He rushed her to the hospital and into the delivery room. He was beside her the whole time during her 10-hour labor, just like he was there for her for the Lamaze classes every Tuesday and Thursday night. He was there. Through it all, the contractions, placenta flying, and the pain. It ended at 12.03 a.m. when the first screams of the newborn were heard. She looked up through tired eyes, sweat pouring over her, and her body aching, and saw him crying. Her best friend. And in this instant, she knew he was a father. Maybe not biologically, but he was truly a friend and a real man. They put the young daughter in the new mother's arms for the first time, and he sat beside her in her bed. They named the child Charlotte, and they knew this wasn't the end. He had a little box in his pocket, and in that pocket was a ring. He was so scared to rush this all. It had only been six months. He knew she was still young and unsure of life, but he knew that her love for him would come. He pulled out the box and extended his arm dropping one knee to the floor, the doctors and nurses seeing him before she did, enthralled by the smell and feel of her child. Her child. Her child. She then looked over to see a diamond ring shining, brighter than the baby's newly seeing eyes, and he said, I know you don't love me, but you're my best friend and your friend I always vow to be. I want to stand beside you through everything you do, so Mercedes... Will you marry me? And she said, to be continued. <laughs>